After a hectic offseason, Toronto Ultra has finally settled their squad for the Black Ops 6 season. After Modern Warfare 3, Scrap and Envoy were bought out by Nade Shot and 100 Thieves, form another super team in the COD League, leaving Ultra scrambling for a better roster to compete with the top three in Black Ops 6. So after looking into the pool of free agents, the new team is Kleenex, Insight, Beans, and Joe Deceives. Finally, Beans gets a good team. I feel like he has always been good, just hasn't had the team that can back him up now he does what a lineup i feel like this team could cause some upsets in the league and other people saying Ooh. there's been a lot of reactions from the community a lot of excitement a lot of criticism but i think this team is very underrated and has the potential to upset some of these top three teams but as the black ops 6 season is right around the corner let's take a look at the new toronto ultra team why i think they're underrated and what happened to get us to this point now i'm not going to go to the beginning of the cdl but the current current team story really starts during the Modern Warfare 2 season. This is when Toronto Ultra really turned a corner by picking up Scrap, who just came off an MVP Challenger season and won Challenger's finals. And I mean, he instantly translated his talent and his personality to the COD League, building himself into the player that he is today. And Toronto started MW2 with Scrappy, Standy, Kleenex, and Insight. Now, Insight and Kleenex have been a duo since the Cold War season. And as we know now, things have not changed. They went through a roster change with Hixie after Major Major 2 and found their first bit of success during Major 3 in Texas where they had a dominant bracket run that built the team's stock for the season. After falling off a bit towards the end of MW2, they really managed to clutch up when it mattered during the 2023 COD Champs, making it all the way to the Grand Finals to play NYSO. If you remember, that's when this happened. We knew what they were going to come out and do. We know how they play. Uh, you know, shut down Hydra. The team's pretty ass, so. A few moments later. Eyes and Kismet now. The pressure mounting. Can they yeah, unfortunately, uh, Toronto did get swept by NYSL, but regardless, they made it to second place in COD Champs, so that was a win in itself. But that really ended their first season together, the trio of Scrap, Kleenex, and Insight. And even though Hixie performed really well for Toronto, they were still looking for an upgrade going into this most recent Modern Warfare 3 season, and they found his replacement because eventually Envoy became a free agent fresh off of Los Angeles Thieves, and he joined Toronto Ultra for Modern Warfare 3, and they were really expected to be a top four team they really did dominate and were consistent throughout the entire season they had some disappointing performances later in the season but to start major one they finished online with a record of six and one moving on to the winner's bracket at major one in boston where the team managed to win another major in the cdl making an insane winner's bracket run and they were able to beat atlanta phase twice winning hundred and fifty thousand dollars so whatever expectations people had for toronto ultra they were met and probably Probably crushed after major one and going into major two they still performed pretty well finishing fourth with a record of five and two and placing in top four during major two it was a lot of conversation about envoy during this time as he really struggled in the response during this entire major split so the team was looking to bounce back and continue to win online matches and during major three they made it all the way to the grand finals once again beating carolina optic and phase during their home major in toronto i got a shout out to this major because every time toronto Ultra hosts an event. It always seems to be everyone's favorite major of the year. Hopefully I can go to one one day because it honestly looks insane. During their home major, they weren't able to get it done and kind of had a flashback to 2023 COD champs getting swept in the grand finals to Optic. And in stage four, Toronto Ultra bounced back, placing in first during stage four, continuing to show their consistency in the top three, top four conversation. However, during the major four land, they really fell apart, losing a critical first round series to Los Angeles Gorillas. Scrap sent Clayster back to the desk, going on to beat Miami Heretics, but would lose a Game 5 series. The season wasn't over just yet, because during 2024 COD Champs, they started in Winners Round 1 versus LA Thieves. Kleenex and Toronto Ultra really got off to a slow start, were upset 3-1 to by LAT, getting sent down to the loser's bracket in the biggest tournament of the year. They would go on to make a really solid loser's bracket run, even taking out Atlanta Phase in the process, and getting their get back on LAT, ultimately losing to NYSL with the 
duo of Kleenex and Insight really struggling in this series. But the team placed in third, winning $320,000. The Esports World Cup would not be the same story as the rivalry with LAT continued, getting upset in the single bracket tournament in the MW3 season. And the Toronto Ultra Trio of Scrap, Kleenex, and Insight would be over after just two seasons. Placements were solid all season, but it was clear that Scrap was just ready to look for more opportunities and join a team that would be solidified as a top three team during Black Ops 6. And that's exactly what he did, taking Envoy with him in the Black Ops 6 season. I mean, after the Esports World Cup, people were automatically speculating whether Scrap would leave Toronto Ultra or stay. He wasn't a contract, so some people said it's not even up to him. So I don't even know how he could go to another team. I do. Finally, on September 24th, Nadeshot revealed the new LA Thieves roster after managing to buy out Scrap and Envoy from Toronto Ultra, with the new LAT being Scrap, Envoy, Hydra, and Ghosty. But this left Toronto Ultra trying to find two new pieces to pair with Insight and Kleenex. They've been a duo on Ultra since Cold War and plan to stay that way this season. And like I said, historically, their placings have been really well together, so it makes sense why they would want to keep them. One guy said Death, Taxes, and Kleenex in Insight staying on Ultra. Others saying these two need beans in a consistent player. And so they were on the lookout. The initial rumors for the new team were Kleenex, Insight, Beans, and I seen Hixie was thrown around. And then I also see that they were trying to sign Real. Realistically, the goal is to break into the top three who are currently FaZe, Optic, and LAT. And so all the teams in the CDL are really going to be looking to take down these three teams. So they decided to pick up Beans and Joe Deceives. Joe Deceives spent the beginning of MW2 in the challenge. Challengers League after making a name for himself in online COD tournaments and ranked play. And while in Challengers, he made an immediate impact, getting called up to the starting roster during MW2. I mean, some people were not happy about Joe Deceives joining the CDO. After a rough season with LAG, Joe learned how to work through a losing season, and he showed hints of his individual talent despite losing matches. He joined LAT in the 2023 offseason on a team of younger talent, and after not placing well during Major 1, he was moved down to the Challengers League once again, developing Developing his game and becoming a better player. He was dominating down in challengers, eventually getting called back up to LAT once again for Major 3, where he showed immediate signs of improvement and the team was able to find their footing through the season. And Joe was able to build the stock as an SMG player in this league, eventually getting picked up by Toronto Ultra, now in a perfect position to really prove himself and solidify himself in the CDL. Another player trying to prove himself in the CDL was Beans, who is now picked up on Ultra as a replacement for Scrap. And and a fast-paced AR player who was grinding for years in challengers to make a name for himself, working his way up to joining the Toronto Ultra EU Academy team in February 2022. And he's really trying to cement himself in the CDL for years to come. He grinded it out throughout the Vanguard season, winning Challengers Cups, and joined Boston Breach Academy during the MW2 season alongside Sensor. Playing on Sensor's team helped him meet more pros and build his stock with the team. And he eventually got moved up to the starting roster during the MW2 season where he made an immediate impact. Actually, the first time he joined the team, they placed top two at major three qualifiers and top four at major three. That may not sound like a lot, but Boston Breach was really struggling. Beans brought his positive personality and winning mentality to the team, and he really performed well individually. Similar to Joe Deceives, just wasn't able to find himself on a very good team, and he wasn't even picked up for the 2024 MW3 season at first, playing for Team War with Hixie. And after winning Challengers Cups at the beginning of the year, Boston welcomed him back to the team, but it was another tough stint in the COD League for him as they placed top 12 throughout the entire season. But it really says something that Beans was able to build his stock even on a terrible team. And they will be joining the veteran players of Kleenex and Insight. Both have been on the scene before the CDL era. Kleenex really made a name for himself during the Black Ops 4 season as an elite European player and spent time battling for a spot in the CDL. But Kleenex was ready to transition to the structured league coming in 2020. He's really become a popular name in the CDO. Somebody said, do you think he's underrated when talking about the best players in the CDL era? He's good, very good at times, but he's never been consistent enough to ever really be mentioned in the elite SMG category. I think he's been a borderline top 10 player in one or two CODs. He's pretty consistent damage wise and pressure wise. Sometimes his KD isn't the greatest, but we see that with any really aggressive player. I think that Kleenex is an elite player and maybe having two new players on his team will unlock parts of his game that weren't previously able to be used, especially with a faster player like Scrap on the team. And Insight is another longtime COD grinder and has had tournament results from all the way back to Advanced Warfare and built his name in the CWL and the CDL.
video. He joined Toronto Ultra, where he has stayed ever since. Kind of been known for being a slower AR player, which was the perfect balance for Scrap during MW2 and MW3, and really knows how to fill his role. His stats don't always show with insight, and sometimes he actually does struggle, but he is a much slower player on the map. We'll have to bounce off of Beans as that AR duo, but ultimately, I think that this team will be really underrated and does have the potential to be the top three teams in the CDL going into Black Ops 6. Like I said, Kleenex and Insight are proven winners. They know how to win and know what it takes to win. And it's no doubt that Beans and Joe Deceives are hungry to make a name for themselves in this league. They're really talented young prospects and could be future stars in this league. Could be the beginning of their amazing careers. So it's going to be a lot with their mindset to come in and take down these teams. They just got to be hungry to win, ready to win, and be willing to learn from the veterans in Kleenex and Insight. And I'm sure Kleenex and Insight can also learn quite a few things. It's no doubt that all of these players are extremely talented, but it's really going to come down to if they can mesh well together. We've seen plenty of really good teams on paper with raw individual talent. I mean, at the end of the day, teamwork is everything in competitive Call of Duty, and if you can't mesh well, you just won't win games. But just from looking at all the other CDL teams and looking at this team, I think they've put the best possible roster they could together. Some people said they could have got Sib in place of Beans, but in my opinion, I think Beans is the perfect player for this team and he's willing to make sacrifices to win the same could be said about joe so it's going to be a really exciting team and another thing that makes this team really fun to watch is that their organization really cares about the players and takes the time in their content and the events are always really good so that's another thing to look forward to with this toronto ultra team i'm sure they're going to have like mini documentaries throughout the season there's just going to be a lot of content to look for for this team which is another thing that i think makes them underrated i think there'll be a lot of storylines around this team i'm a long time bean supporter i just want to see him do well in the league and it's really going to be on all the players to lock in this season and prove a lot of people wrong so what do you think about this new toronto ultra team there's a lot of changes going on in the cdo and a brand new game dropping next week and i'm honestly just ready not only to watch the cdo but to grind some cod hey i appreciate you guys so much for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed this one check out this video where i break down the new la thieves super team that i touched on a bit in this video if you enjoyed this video you gotta check that one out i hope that you all have a great week and i'll see you in the next video until then peace